Welcome to today's virtual nature basket. I'm Miss Laura and today we're talking about nests. Our book is This is the Nest that Robin Built by Denise Fleming. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the dog who brought the string, long and strong, that wraps round the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the horse who shared his straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps round the twigs, not too big, that anchors the nest that Robin built. This is the pig who mixed the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps round the twigs, not bit too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the mouse who gathered the weeds dotted with seeds that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the rabbit who picked the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps round the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dotted with seeds, that bind the mud, soft not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps round the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the nestlings, tufted and pink, that cracked the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dyed with seeds, that bind the mud, soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that wraps around the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. And this is the Robin who built the nest. Anchored with twigs, not too big, wrapped with string, long and strong, covered with straw, rough and tough, plastered with mud, soft, not soupy, bound with weeds, dyed with seeds, cushioned with grass, fresh and sweet, who laid the eggs, brittle and blue, cracked by nestlings, tufted and pink. Now, young fledglings, rumpled and ruffled, ready to fly. Good. Bye. And now, Constance will talk to you more about nests. A bird's nest is a place where a bird lays its eggs. There are all kinds of nests, including cup nests, holes in the ground, and piles of twigs and leaves. There are all kinds of sizes. Some can be as big and as heavy as a car, like an old eagle's nest, while some can be tiny as a thimble, like a nest of a bee hummingbird. Mother birds glue their nests together with material like spider webs, silk, mud. Most nest builders like to put soft things inside their nest as well. The cup nest is probably the most common bird's nest. Its name tells you that a cup's nest is shaped like a cup or a bowl. Many songbirds build cup's nest. These nests are often built in the branches of trees. They use lots of material that act like sticky glue, mud, rotten wood, dung, spider webs, and caterpillar silk. Most cup nesters use rough scratchy material for the outside. This gives protection and camouflage to the rest and puts soft cozy material like moss, fur, feathers, and cotton on the inside. The smallest cup nests are made by hummingbirds. They can make it as tiny as a thimble, like a bee hummingbird's nest. The tiny nest holds eggs that are as tiny as peas. The largest cup nest is probably the stork's. His nest can be nine feet deep and six feet wide. The stork's nest is so big that smaller birds actually make nests in the cracks, holes, and branches. Platform nests are built mostly by raptors birds that can eat prey, like eagles and hawks. They are usually huge and very, very high up on the sides of cliffs or high up in big trees. If it takes 
months and months making these nests, adding branch by branch. They often return to the same nest year after year and continue to build it. It is because of this that the platform nest gets so big. A bald eagle's nest, for example, can weigh as much as a ton, about the same weight as a small car. It is so heavy, it can sometimes hurt the tree that it is built in. Earth hole nests are nests that are inside the earth. They are burrows or tunnels on the ground or in sides of cliffs. They like using abandoned rabbit holes too. The burrowing owl only uses already dug holes for its nest. Kingfishers dig or burrow their holes. They can burrow up to six feet into the side of the cliff and they lay their eggs in that place. Many birds nest right on the ground. After carving out a little hole, ground and mound nesters line the nest with grass and other materials. Geese even pick feathers from their breasts and make a nice down bed for their eggs. Most ducks, geese, and quail like the ground for nesting. These nests are barely nests at all, just a small depression in the ground or a pile of dead leaves to lay an egg on. These scrap nesting birds usually have eggs that match the color of the dead leaves or the rocks. Many scrap nesters actually try to distract creatures that might be dangerous by pretending that they have a broken wing. This makes a predators chase the mother bird and leave the eggs. Today's craft is to make your own nest. Have an adult pick up a craft kit at the Westchester Administration Building. We would love to see your finished craft. Have a parent or guardian post a picture on social media. Thank you for watching.